Hey folks, I'm Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics. I'm out here on the range with a new rifle I just got. It's called the SIG Regulator. This thing has stirred it up. There's a lot of people that have been talking about this rifle and I couldn't wait to get my hands on one. It's funny, either people love it or they hate it. Well, I happen to be in the love category with this gun. Uh, I'm an AR-15 guy and this is not an AR-15. So for those of you that are AR-15 guys, you know, good for you. I live in the free state of Tennessee so I can own as many ARs as I want, but some of you, if you live in some tyrannical states that don't allow you to have uh, Second Amendment rights, then this might be an answer to some of the prayers that you've been sending up to the, <laughs> to the man upstairs there. So this rifle, it doesn't have a flash hider, it has a muzzle brake, and it's a very effective muzzle brake. So that's one of the key features that makes it legal. The other thing that makes it legal in a lot of the states, it doesn't have a pistol grip. So it's got a different grip here. It's like a lot of the guns that we grew up with shooting, or at least guns I grew up shooting. It has a safety that does take a little bit to get used to, but you can easily manipulate that with your trigger finger up and down. It's much easier to manipulate than some of the weapons that I have, such as my shotguns or an AK, it's easier to get to than, than those weapons. It also has ambidextrous features. So it has an ambidextrous charging handle. You can see here that can be released from either side. It has an ambidextrous bolt catch, which is here and here, pretty simple. It also has ambidextrous magazine release here as well as here. So if you're, if you're wondering how that works, if, I am a right, if I'm doing a right-handed reload, I'm just gonna reach up and release that magazine with my thumb there. If I'm doing a left-handed reload, I've gotta reach up and I've gotta hit that mag release with that hand and go back in. And it does take some practice, but once again, it's not an AR, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. Well, I'm gonna shoot this thing. Uh, oh, I, I forgot a key feature here, Magpul stock. This Magpul stock is very, very comfortable. It has a replaceable cheek riser. And for this particular setup, when this was sent to me, they had already mounted a scope. This riser, I had to change it out. It's very simple. Pull out a couple screws, snap that into place, put the screws back in and you're, you're set up. Very comfortable stock to shoot. So I don't know, there's not much to say about this other than if you have an MCX already, your MCX upper will go on this lower receiver. The lower receiver is different, but the upper receiver is the same as your other MCXs. So if you've got a six arc, 300 blackout, uh, or another 556 five, upper that you want to be able to put onto this, that uh, MCX upper is going to go right into place. So let me uh, fire this a couple times. You'll see how effective this muzzle brake is. Pretty sweet. One other feature I didn't mention earlier is the built-in Arca rail. I really like this feature. Right in front of the trigger guard, you have this little section of Arca rail that allows you to mount your weapon in a, uh, in a section of Arca rail on a tripod or, or whatever setup you happen to have there. I really like this feature though. That's something that my buddy Chris pointed out. course that's my answer for 10 round mags if you've only got 10 round mags you better carry a backup but I will tell you the SIG regulator this is a cool rifle if you haven't shot one get out there and play around with one um, I like it man I really like it once again it's not an AR-15 so for those of you in those states that can't own an AR-15 check out the SIG regulator we'll see you on the range